In this NL Central race, which is tight as can be, and it probably will be tight all the way through, uh, give me the name of a player who will be the X Factor, JP. Joe Madden was wearing his shirt a moment ago. The Hamels Foundation. Ah. Cole Hamels coming back off the injured list tomorrow. Long-awaited uh, return for Cole. And we think about what the Cubs have done or maybe what others in the division did not do, Nick. The Brewers did not get an ace at the deadline to counter what Cole Hamels can do, what a healthy Hamels can do. I believe the Cubs have already gotten through the toughest part of their year. They had some injuries that they had to battle with. Uh, I think now getting Hamels healthy again, right. when healthy, and Darvish, by the way, quietly has been and better. Zobrist yes, is coming back. Zobrist is uh, beginning his minor league uh, rehab stint this weekend. Nick, I, I like the way the Cubs are coming together. Castellanos fills the need for them. Tony Kemp does as well. A lot of momentum there, and it starts yeah. with the man on the mound tomorrow. Well, bringing over Castellanos, he mashes against left-handers, and that's who the Cubs usually struggle exactly. with. Who's your X factor? Give me one. Well, I think I, I got to go a little on the offensive side of things for sure, and I think it's going to be Paul Goldschmidt with the St. Oh, Louis Cardinals okay. right now. And the only reason why I say this is that man was brought over there to carry a lineup. Right? He has been absolutely in fuego as of late, and so have the Cardinals, right? 27 stakes in his last 26 games. That's doing something. That's the Paul Goldschmidt we all know and love. Gotten off to a little bit of a rough start this year. Obviously, a little change of scenery is going to do that to you. But I'm telling you what, the only reason why I say that is that this guy has the ability to carry a team with his bat, almost like Bryce Harper with the Nationals. Mm. I'm telling you, if Goldie continues to keep doing what they're doing right now, the Cardinals are going to see themselves in the playoffs. One other note on the Cubs are 37 and 18 at home. They are 21 and 33 on the road. They like Wrigley. They don't like they, the road. That's their, uh, wow. that's their MO this year. It's been a big difference for them. The Yankees get a win. And, Switch, I find this fascinating if you could take us inside the clubhouse as a player because the Yankees didn't do anything. And right. we're, we're used to them doing big things at the trade deadline. Well, obviously, it hasn't affected them. They come out and win a big game tonight. But how? what is their mindset right now, knowing, oh, man, we didn't get any help, so it's on us? Totally. And I, and I can only go from just what I've seen in the past and obviously the quotes that have come out in the paper. Now, Brett Gardner just got reinstated from the 10-day IL, which was awesome, because at this point in time, you need your leaders to step up. And he said that we know we have the team we want moving forward. They don't need anybody, right? They can piecemeal a rotation together, especially when they get into the playoffs. And Brett Gardner said in his quotes, the one thing we're trying to do, win the division, game Hold gain home field advantage because KB at the end of the day, JP as well, if the New York Yankees have home field advantage, they always have a chance to win. It changes things certainly if they get that. And I think the other thing that could change things, we've been talking so much, okay, they didn't get a pitcher, they didn't get a pitcher, they didn't get a pitcher. But they do have a pitcher, JP, who they're hoping to get back in Luis Severino. And I'm curious if he can make enough of an impact. Is there enough time for him to come back and really make a postseason impact for them? The KB, that's a great question. I think it's probably going to have to be in the bullpen at least to start out. You think about where we're at with the calendars. He's due to throw off the mound a week from today. It's going to take some time. It's been the lat and the shoulders. You see it there. He's missed the entire season, effectively. Uh, he, he was signed to be their ace with the extension of spring training. But he can't be that right now. That, that's gone. You, you can't worry about having to be the game one starter right now, Nick, for this team. It's all about giving you innings, maybe bulk. Maybe he comes in the middle of the game. You made a great point earlier uh, about maybe G, maybe Green starts a game and then Severino comes in there. That's the kind of role, just because I think you look at the, the, the counter right now, KB, it's, he's not going to be able to get fully stretched out. So I think just having him somewhere on the active roster, Nick, during the month of September. Yeah, kind of, it can be kind of a whatever guy kind of whatever you need him to do, right? You need him to come in the second inning, he's ready. You need to come in and throw two innings, you can do that. Look at Evaldi last year yes. and the promise and, and, and the amazing postseason he had last year. Obviously, Seve has the exact same opportunity as well. It's kind of like you, Swish, like whatever you need to do. Yeah, whatever, whatever you need me to do. We need you to be on whip around you here. We need sure. you to go on college, yeah, if you need there. me to, like, you know, clean the stage off, I got you. Break down Michigan-Ohio State, we can, right. we can do that too. We can do that all day, bro. We can do it all, really, really. <laughs>